Well, as the UK deals with this amber extreme heat warning, the dry weather across the UK has caused some water companies to impose hose pipe bans. However, they have been receiving criticism themselves of their handling of supplies, with some calling for bosses' bonuses to be put on hold. Uh, let's talk to the head of media and PR for Anglian Water, Regan Harris. Um, uh, Regan, your boss got £3.5 million in bonuses recently, uh, yet your company's been fined three times for polluting in the last year. Why are they worth the money? Well, I mean, it's not really for me to comment on exec remuneration. Well, um, you are here representing the company on a day when these events... Um, that um, deals with peer-to-peer -peer reviews. What I can say is that our company performance is directly linked to chief exec bonus and bonuses across our senior management. And those have been significantly reduced this year because we recognise that our performance wasn't where it needed to be. Mm. But it reduced, but still £3.5 million. Most people looking at those figures will say that's an extraordinary figure for a water company to be giving to its bosses when when you appear to still be polluting rivers and and killing fish well we, we're very clear on the fact that our environmental performance needs to be addressed and needs to be changed we absolutely should not be discharging um using cso's as a way to manage um an overloaded sewer system absolutely not but the the um, um bonuses of our chief exec reflected other areas where we were leading the industry like tackling leakage for example um but where we knew that environmental performance was not where we wanted it to be that's where we saw exec pay across the board cut this year um, and our focus now is very much on dealing with the job at hand which is keeping taps running um during unprecedented red weather um, where we've seen the driest eight months since 1976 and as a water company we're you know we're doing a good job at that um, we have not Im implemented any hose pipe bans as yet and nor do we forecast the need to this summer um, and we are doing you know all our doing our job of keeping taps running for people across the east of England. Mm, but is that because you're not having a hose pipe ban uh, because the part of the UK that, that you are covering is less dry than, than the South East. It is the most dry parts of the UK that are uh, being affected by these hosepipe bans. The weather isn't quite as hot in Anglia as it is in Kent. No, I'm afraid that's, that's simply not true. The east of England is the driest part of the UK and we get a third less rainfall than anywhere else. Um, but we are incredibly resilient. We are prepared to deal with dry, hot, dry, hot summers. Um, and we have created, invested um, millions of pounds into resilience over the last 30 years to make sure we've got the infrastructure in place to deal with dry, hot summers. And that's exactly what we do. We're very agile at moving water around, storing water where we need it most. But also we recognise the need to, to invest now for the future. Um, and that's why we're bringing online plans for new strategic pipelines um, to bring water from the north of our region to the south and also we have plans in in future for new reservoir options as well uh, what about leakage you, you're obviously very keen to to talk about successes you, you've had in terms of leakage but off what wants water companies to try to reduce their leakage by 16 percent the latest figures for anglian water show that you've managed to reduce it by 6.1 percent that's nowhere near what off what are hoping you would do well, actually, the targets that Offwatt set us for last year alone, we've exceeded those in that 6%. Um, we're already the best water company in the industry when it comes to tackling low leakage. Um, and we've got the lowest by more than half compared to the rest of any other water companies. Um, but we know we need to go further. Um, but currently, we're actually you know, overtaking other European countries in terms of driving down leakage to be world, world leaders in low leakage. So we know we need to go further, but we made a decision over a decade ago to go beyond what our regulators asked us to do. And that's why we're, you know, quite simply the best in the industry at driving down leakage. But it, locally, there are huge issues, aren't there? I, I was seeing that, you know, one local MP has, has called bosses at Angling Water diabolical. Uh, and that was just uh, in the last couple of months because of sewer, the sewer saga in, in Boston Road South and Hull Beach. There are a, a number of local issues that, that clearly local people would like to see the company doing a great deal more on. And we're absolutely committed to doing that. Um, you know, there have been a local issues, just as I'm sure lo lots of other water companies have seen during the, the prolonged dry weather, where we have had, you know, pipes bursting because of dry ground conditions. Um, and, you know, things have been difficult for, you know, the last few months. But we've got more teams than ever out on the ground, finding leaks, fixing leaks, um, managing our water resources to make sure we can keep up with demand. And as I said, the most important thing as well is not just demand for today and tomorrow, 
required, but for next summer as well. Um, what we need to be mindful of now is, you know, how much rainfall we get this winter, um, because we certainly will be in a more serious position next summer without that rainfall. But currently things are looking stable for us in terms of our reservoirs and groundwater levels. So at this moment in time, there's no need for any, any restrictions from the Anglian Water region. Mm. And, and in terms of those river levels, you are watching them very, very closely. Does there come a point where they do go? What is the trigger point at which point you will say, hang on, that they have now got so low, we are going to have to start bringing in other measures? Well, this, this is all based on our drought plans, which we agree as water companies with the Environment Agency. Um, they are based on science and monitoring and, you know, prolonged predictions for water resources across our region. And we're absolutely committed to following that as a process, um, working with the Environment Agency, monitoring river levels and storage levels across the region. Um, you know, and people should, you know, be assured that when we reach those trigger points where we might need to implement such stuff the next year or, you know, next spring and summer, then we'll absolutely do that if that's the right thing to do to protect the environment but we're certainly not there at the moment um, and that's really testament to the investments we've made for resilient infrastructure and just being good at moving water successfully around our region to where it's needed most. Regan Harris uh, from Anglian Water, good to talk to you, thanks very much for joining us today.